guys, it's Ed Hub from Full Blown Customs. I'm going to bring you a little something different today. This is a truck that um, we're doing. I'm at another shop right now. Um, we did the American theme on this whole thing. We got the uh, flames on it, American flag, got some eagles. We're going to do a Statue of Liberty back here. And we're going to name this thing the Freedom Flyer. But we're going to show you as much as we can. We'll do a little um, slideshow and I'll explain everything to you as we go. But uh, let's get right into it. guys can see right here, I'm just going back in and filling in the um, mountains here a little bit. I'm using a little bit of um, black mixture with a little bit of blue into it and I'm just going back in on the edges here and just adding some rocks back and forth in the um, mountains here. Just going to go ahead and add a little bit of uh, snow on the tree branches here. And then all the trees in the background, I'm adding a little snow to them. And now we have Eric up front here. All right, everybody, Eric. How's it going? He's unmasking everything. You can see what we've done on the flames by shadowing, shadowing the top side with um, white and the bottom side with uh, black. Looks, it's a really cool effect. So we can't get back away from this too much. Kind of limited on our space here. Let's see what it looks like with the roll effect by having the black on the bottom and the white on the top. Now we're going to pinstripe all the flame in uh, bright red. Customer picked up a pitcher, we blew it up the size we want. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna airbrush some mountains back in the background here, and then I'm gonna put a couple trees on it, and then we'll uh, put the pitcher up here, and we'll put transfer paper under it. I'll cut the eagle out, and I'll start showing you a step-by-step -step on how to do that. But I'll start out with mountain scene.
use both airbrushes at the same time though. Move your left hand out a little bit. Switch hands and do a W motion so it looks like you're actually using both. Now work your way up towards the peak and do that like conducting motion. Alright guys, what I've done is I've laid out my transfer paper and I placed the eagle up here to begin with to see where I wanted it. I created this pocket right here where the dark part is, where the um, blacker part is because I want the feathers to be able to stand out and that's where the white will come back over that. And then I've put the wing on the outside. You can look through my transfer paper and see my mountains right there. So now my wing will come up here, still keep enough room at the top so it doesn't go over. And then the beak and everything should be just above this other uh, mountain right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay a piece of carbon um, paper back underneath it. I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to trace this all out. Then I'm going to lift it back up. And then I'm going to take my razor knife and I'm going to cut this completely out. And I'm going to pull each piece out and show you how to spray that. Let's get it going. The place, the place is, here. is here. The time, the time is now. Is now. And the journey into the shadows that we are about to watch could be our journey.